They may have joined Ondor's resistance forces as patriots or even mercenaries, but in reality they are regulars of the Rosarian army under direct command of our war pavilion. This fifth column has invaded Imperial airspace and provoked a response. Unable to abandon them, His Excellency the Marquis was obliged to give his main fleet the order to attack. And the battleground is the Lamasca. Should this fight drag on, Rosaria will enter the fray. The defense of Dalmasca is their excuse, and we will have a war between empires. Correct. They will buy their time waiting to strike until the Empire has spent itself against the Marquis, but then he will crush them and the Marquis both between his hands. Vane holds the Dusk Shard no longer. His advantage is lost. Vane has advantages enough. He stands on higher ground, and my birds tell me he has awoken something quite large. Bahamut, Lord of the Sky. There was a stirring in the mist, in the direction of Ridorana, I am told. Bahamut awoke soon after this. It is the mist that came before the Christ was undone. It breathed life into this Bahamut. If Rathus had not stopped it when he did, how much more mist might it have drunk? All went according to Dr. Sid's designs. Yes, the man's last great accomplishment, I fear. And so it falls to me to put an end to the thing. Vane commands Bahamut himself? He comes to Rabanaster. Then I will defend Delmasca and stop this Bahamut. This is my charge. That's our charge, actually. It's our home. It belongs to us all. And my charge is to hinder and delay this Rosarian invasion for as long as is possible. I will do what I can. Ah, uh, yes. When this unpleasantness is done, you must come to Rosaria. I will take you to the Amber Vale of Clan Margrace. Such things I will show you. Until then, I will be waiting.